and welcome to learning math today i will be going over the first olympiad in the ebook and if you guys don't have this book i will be sure to leave a link down in the description problem number one says suppose today is tuesday what day of the week will it be 100 days from now so if today's tuesday then the next day is wednesday and so on so let's just draw a chart to make this simpler with six days or seven days in it sorry and six lines. Okay, now we'll just write Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, now today's Tuesday, so pre pretend it's zero because the order goes 100 days from now, not 99 days from now, which is the same thing as 100 days, including today. So, if two is zero, then it goes this way. So, one, two, three, four, six, seven. And then if you do it again, and then 14. If you see a pattern, then you see a pattern here. It's adding seven as how many days there are. So, it's gonna be multiples of seven. Now, we're gonna, it's 100 days from now. So, we're gonna divide 100 by 7 and then we get 14 now we have to find the remainder not just the answer so the remainder is going to be 2 sorry I didn't multiply it out you can do it you guys can do it at home so the remainder is 2 now you just have to make 2 more so Tuesday 1 2 so Thursday should be the answer Problem two says, I have four three cent stamps and three five cent stamps. Using one or more of these stamps, how many different amounts of postage can I make? So, he, he has four three cent stamps and three five cent stamps. So, let's just assume that only he uses one at a time. So let's use three. He can use three, six, nine, twelve. How am I getting this? I'm just multiplying it each by one, by two, by three, by four. Because there's four. Now how about five? Five, ten, fifteen. Now I multiply this by three because there's only three. Three by two by one. Or one by two by three. Now the combinations of both. So, you can use 1, 3, and 1, 5, which is equal to 8, 1, 3, and 2, 5s, which is equal to 13, and 1, 3, and 3, 5, which is equal to 18. Now, how about if you have two 6s? So, two 6s and 1, 5, 11, two sixes and two fives, 16, and then 21. And then so on if you do it. Here, let me just fill them out. And then the last one, if you have 17, 22, 29. Now, if you just add all of these combinations, let's just write is equal to three, four, I meant, sorry. Is equal to three, 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 three. Now you add all of these numbers. So, four plus seven, 10, 13, 16, and 19 should be your answer. The third problem is, find the sum of the counting numbers from one to 25 inclusive. In other words, if s is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to plus 24 plus 25, find the value of s. Okay, so there's a simple formula for these types of problems. n multiplied by n plus 1. Where n is the greatest number in the sequence, and the whole thing divided by 2. So let's just write down the problem. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 25. Right here, 25 is the last number in the sequence. 
So we're gonna use that as n. 25, 26, which is n plus one, which is 26 over two, which is equal to, let's count, we can, 13. 25 multiplying 13. 25, sorry, 325. But this formula only works if the first number of the sequence is one. So don't, if a friend just asks you, what's 26 plus 25, do not say 351 because that's not the answer. So our answer right over here is 325. Problem four says, in a stationary store, Pencils have one price and pens have another price. Two pencils and three pens cost 78 cents, but three pencils and two pens cost 72 cents. How much does one pencil cost? So both start with a P-E-N. So I'll just make one of them simple. Like let's say Q is equal to pencil. I'm just making variables. And D is equal to pens. Okay, now we can plug it into our information. Two pencils and three pens, which means 2Q plus 3D is equal to 78 cents. I'll just write 78. And however, 3Q plus 2D is equal to 72. Okay, now we got to make two of these the same. So we figured out that six is the closest one to make these the same. So we have to multiply this by three to get six and multiply by this by two to get six. Okay, so now we can write this as six Q plus nine D is, sorry, 78 multiplied by three, which is equal to 234. <clears throat> Six Q plus four D is equal to 144. Now you have these similar, so why don't we subtract? Subtract this by this, because you also have this similar and kind of like, okay, so, this these two cancel out this two becomes 5d and then if you subtract these two is equal to 90. okay now 5d is equal to 90 now we just divide 90 by 5 and what we get is 18. now d is pens and what is it asking for a pencil so now we, we can plug it into any equation so i'll choose this one okay 3d if d is equal to 18 3 times D is equal to 54. And then to figure out 2Q, we can do 78 minus 54 is equal to 2Q, right? Now, this is equal to 24. So then you figure out 2Q, you can divide it by two and you get Q, which is pencils, equal to 12. So the last problem says, a work crew of three people requires three weeks and two days to do a certain job. How long would it take a work crew of four people to do the same job if each person of both crews works at the same rate as each of the others? No, each week contains six work days. So first, let's figure out how many work days it takes for a work crew of three people. So three multiplied by six because at the end it says no, a week um, contains six work days, which is equal to 18, and then plus two work days, which is equal to 20. Three people take 20 jobs, 20 days. Okay, now one person, if they work at the same rate, you have to multiply this by three and divide this, sorry, divide this by three. So one is equal to 60. Now it's asking for four. So what you have to do, you have to multiply this by four and divide this by four. Sorry. And you get four, four people takes 15 
work days, which you can write as two regular weeks and, or, and three days. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want more math videos, you can subscribe to our channel. And see you next time.